is Matt Boylan. AKA <laughs> Matthew Leonard Boylan. <laughs> AKA Dragonfly Supervisor. <laughs> Agent M2 ZX10. Graphics Operational Manager for NASA. Been a comedian for about 20 years, it's been a front. I'm a high realist painter, photo realist painter. Worked for NASA on and off doing freelance graphics <laughs> for about 20 years now. In the quirk in the second atom of the quasar in the black hole. <laughs> NASA. As you can see, we got a nice red serpent tongue coming through there. NASA. And there's the UN flag. Also the symbol of the flat earth. Now, of course, if I say flat earth, then I gotta be an idiot, right? That's what they told you, right? It's a ball. There's no Antarctica in this. <laughs> it's a bird's eye over the North Pole. Right in your fucking face. <laughs> you know, there's gonna be some comedians making jokes tonight, but uh, I wanna talk about the joke that's on you. There's five UN Security Council members. You know how you become a UN Security Council member? You get the ball. And they're all seated across from each other on the UN Security Council deciding for every other fucking nation in the UN what to do. Like reservoir dogs pointing fucking guns at each other's head. Securing the world. UN Security Council. What are they securing? Freedom, democracy, human rights, democracy. That's funny. So there's like 360 members of the UN or whatever. But only five countries decide what goes on for the world. Some democracy. Mm. Line number one. That's what it takes to be a member. Have a bomb. Nuke the planet, go up and take a look at what it really looks like. Outer space. There it is. There's your world. You know when they took that? 1969. First lunar mission to the moon. You know, the first lunar mission to the moon wasn't so much about going to the moon. It was about having an event so you can go high enough to take a picture after 500 years to prove it was a ball. <laughs> they went to the moon before they crossed the Antarctic. The two most watched televised events in history, the moon landing, and the towers falling. Up. <laughs> Down. Oh, there they are. Moon landing, 8.17 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 1969. Isaac Newton, 19, 1666. Six nine 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 six 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 seven seven seven. Most people saw the lunar landing and they're they swear on it because they heard it on the radio. <laughs> CBS put up screens all over in the Central Park, along with NBC, you know, so they could work with groupthink dynamics. Reality is reinforced by group dynamics. Witnessing an event. Now, is it really 
them halfway to the moon? Or they just turned out the, the lights in the cabin and pressed the camera up against a round window. <laughs> Don't forget your flag of the world. It has no Antarctica. And it's flat. But of course, to entertain that notion, you have to be an idiot. Right? Like they told you, Simon says. Well, I'm going to run you guys through a perception test to see if this crowd could discern between an image that's a painting by applause or a photo of reality. So by applause, how many people think this is a painting? By applause, how many people think this is a photo? It's a photo of a painting, but that's not the fucking argument. <laughs> Next. It's a painting. Photo or painting? By applause, photo. Okay. Black Laws painting. It's a painting by the artist photorealist Cesar Santander. <laughs> photo or painting? <laughs> painting. <laughs> That's the photo. How do I know? I did it. <laughs> Pause. Painting or photo? By applause, photo. By applause, painting. That's a photo that looks like a painting. <laughs> photo or painting? A painting. I did it. Pause. Photo or painting? Photo? By applause? By applause, painting? You're just fucking crap shooting in the casino now, aren't you? Painting, Richard Estes. Photo or painting? By applause, photo. That's a photo. Next. And that's my painting of the photo. Photo or painting? Photo? It's a photo. Pause. Photo or painting? Painting, I did it. <laughs> I fucking did it. I own the copyright on all this shit. Pause. That's why I can monetize on YouTube. By the way, I own the NASA channel on YouTube. I swear to God. That's an official photo from NASA. But plus, how many people think that's a photo? My applause, how many people think this is bullshit? <laughs> this is Olalapia, distant moon of uh, Mercury. This is Olalapia without the shading from Adobe Photoshop. <laughs> you can look at it. And this is the little section from an ice inlet in Arctic in the Antarctic that I cut out and I just cropped the fucking black circle out of construction paper and made a planet out of it. Oh, this is Pupapipia. This is a distant planet of Venus. As you can see here, you can see all the crater textures on my shirt. We can fucking make you think this is amazing. These are supernovas. They never caught this many suns colliding and actually exploding at the same time by Hubble telescope. And actually, I have a close-up of this. Amazing. This is actually the, the most distant shot they have of, of our galaxy. Here's a close-up. They came up with a new, a new term for this, collisionary supernovas. 
because suns were actually meeting and exploding at the same time in a Christmas tree. <laughs> this is Mars. The surface of Mars. Yeah. Very sandy. The surface of Mars without the black background. And there you go. It's just the desert. Oh, this is sunrise on Star Trek. <laughs> It's a Hollywood image that looks real. Now, photo of painting. 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 You know. <laughs> this is actual NASA here. Pause. You see this cloud formation there? You see like, you see Africa? Do you see the shadow line on the top of Africa? Next image. They fucking reversed it. Our boys at NASA. They took the same image. They just flipped it. They flipped it, and they call it two different images. I'm not making this shit up. Well, people are going to go, well, here's some footage of the Earth rotating, liar. <laughs> hmm. So you got like, you can't see it very well here with the light here, but uh, you got like South America turning here. But what's interesting here is they, what, has this image been do doctored by applause? Yes or no? Has it been doctored? Yeah. yeah, it's been sped up because South America at this speed is going to be around if we, in five minutes. But what's interesting is the clouds are not morphing. Oh, it's spinning. But the artists are too lazy to show how fast the clouds will be morphing at that speed. Check it out. See that, that cluster of clouds? It's not fucking changing. And that's a real shot of the Earth spinning. But the clouds aren't changing. Hmm.